the period in which a female elephant can conceive a new pregnancy is really limited. It only lasts three to four days. And usually she'll get pregnant during that time. Because they only have calves every five years or so, actually finding these oestrus females, these receptive females, is quite difficult for males. And they compete fiercely for access to them. In this film, you can see Christian, a young male, he's only 25, he's following Oprah, and he mates her. The prelude to mating is that the female will walk ahead of the male, he'll follow her, she's reaching back with her tail, and you can see that he's touching her with his trunk. She will normally run a few steps, and then she'll allow herself to be caught and mated. Males need to put their trunks across the back of the female as a signal for her to stop. She's allowing him to mate her, so this is how females choose. She doesn't have to cooperate, so she's actually chosen to be mated. Nearby was Tim, who's one of our biggest Amboseli bulls. He was born in 1969, which makes him 44 this year. Um, he's one of our biggest, most splendid males, and he was also in must, which is a sexually active state that males go into when they are in their 20s, 30s and 40s. And during that time, their sex hormones are very, very high, and they're basically it's the period where they compete for access to females. What Christian is doing here is he's sneaking a copulation. Tim isn't close by. Normally, he would be close and guarding only the teenagers, and they're perfectly able. Once they're big enough, they're perfectly capable of fathering calves. So, if this was the end of the story, Christian would probably father a produce to mate with the biggest, oldest males because they're the most experienced males, and because she's investing such a lot in a pregnancy 22 months of pregnancy plus another several years of calf dependency, not just from a suckling point of view, but the social dependency that calves have on their mothers. Mothers, before they're two years old, the outlook is bleak. And that's because although young elephants taste and try and eat vegetation from a very young age, they just can't sustain their growth on vegetation alone. They need the calories of their mother's milk. But even beyond this, for calves who lose their mothers between the ages of five and nine, there are long-term consequences. Our analysis show that these animals experience an elevated mortality risk that lasts into their 20s. And that just goes to show how important that mother-calf bond is. It goes well beyond the giving of milk and the nutrition. It's about social support, it's about learning, it's about confidence. And so the stress that individuals go through who lose that support, just has made it. Tim comes into the picture and he's a very, very calm nice bull. Lots of males would probably have really chased Christian away and really gone for him, but he's actually a very calm, sweet-natured male, and he's really not interested in Christian at this point. What he's interested in is Oprah. Oprah will have given a post-copulatory rumble, a special call that's below the level of human hearing, that alerted Tim and her family members to the fact that she's been mated. And that's exactly what it's designed to do. It's designed to bring in the biggest, oldest males, because the paternity is actually detested. that Tim approaches, but Oprah moves back towards Christian. And that little foot wave you can see is a measure of uncertainty. It's a way that elephants show they're not really sure about a situation. Oprah is an experienced female, so it's surprising to me that she's choosing like this, but maybe she's just decided that Christian's a, a nice option. So she really, really avoids Tim to start with. So he's got his work cut out to persuade her that she does actually want to mate with him as well. And that trunk over the tusk is him being casual. So he's purposefully signaling that he's relaxed. He's not going to be aggressive. You can see that Tim's more than twice at her size. And Corley is giving a particular must rumble and talking to her. And she moves away, but she's looking over her shoulder at him, so she's interested in him now. He follows her very calmly, he's not being pushy. That strong ear flap is usually associated with a must rumble, so he's calling to her and telling her that he's, that he's in must, that he's in good shape. And Tim has his trunk on, on Oprah's side, he's caressing her. In this video you can see he's rubbing up against her. He's, this is the equivalent of an elephant hug. He's being very sweet and he's convincing her that he's not scary. He's calling to her, she's really responding. You can see she's turning towards him. This lovely elephant body rub is really the equivalent of a hug and a caress. He's rubbing his tusks and he's raising her head with his own tusks underneath hers. 
that is what elephants do when they greet each other. So he's putting her, physically putting into her position to, that she feels good. That's a, it's a positive position, positive posture for elephants. Now as she moves away, she's much more walking like an oestrus female and he moves and touches her back and follows her. So he's indicating that he wants her to stand to be mated. And then finally you can see that she stands and he turns that body rub in. And you can see that Christian goes forward and some males wouldn't tolerate this but Tim is very relaxed and Christian actually goes forward and greets them. And that's in response to her calls and probably Tim's as well. Mm -hmm.